Everton are reportedly interested in Hull City winger Jaden Philogene. But he is 22 years of age, he, uh, right-footed, and last season he had 18 goal involvements for Hull City. He scored 12 times and got six assists in 32 games. The fee is reportedly in the region of £16 million. West Ham United have also been credited with an interest in him. He's also represented uh, England as well at uh, under-21 level. Did score that goal last season, the Rabona from the uh, a wide position. It was tremendous. A very, very highly rated play. Hull City took him for £5 million from Aston Villa. But he's gone and he's done really well. And again, this is further evidence that Everton are looking for a certain type of younger player and are trying to keep that squad aged down. I think it's a, it would be a good move for Everton. He has got a good turn of pace. He can dribble as well. And obviously the goals, you know, 12 goals last season, albeit... It is in the championship, but still 12 goals shows at least he's got that pedigree of putting the ball in the back of the net. Exactly what Everton need and exactly what Sean Dyche's side need. A little bit of pace and someone with some goals in them. So, wait and see whether there is anything in this storyline, but quite a few journalists have run with it now. And uh, we'll see whether or not that happens over the next few days. Uh, further to that, Everton have reopened talks with Newcastle United, according to reports, over winger Jan Kuba Minter. Everton have you know very interested in him, have been interested in him for three or four months, watched him while he was playing over in Holland with Feyenoord. Uh, the, it was looked like a deal was going to be done the other day between Everton and Newcastle for Minter and Dominic Calvin, the Lewin, moving the other way. Dominic Albert Lewin's move seemed to break down, and that's kind of halted the uh, halted the talks between the two clubs over Jan Kuba. But according to sources in the northeast, Newcastle and Everton are talking again because Newcastle do need a sale before the uh, the financial year ends on June the 30th, which of course is Sunday night. They're trying to help their PSR numbers. There's lots of reports coming out of the northeast that they they need to do more than just this sale, but this would obviously really help them. Everton are looking for that pace, like I've just been talking about where Philogene was uh, was discussed. Minta is of that same kind of category, explosive pace, can beat a man, score goals last season for a uh, final. So this will be, like I said it the other day when we linked, this will be a good sign for Everton and will give them something that they haven't got. The fee for me is still a little bit too high, the report of fee, <clears throat> but whether or not Newcastle end up coming down a little bit in their evaluation to get the deal done. Who knows? Uh, they had reportedly struck a deal with Leon, but the player is a uh, preference is Everton wants to move to Everton. So we'll see whether that is enough to get the deal over the line. Everton defender Ben Godfrey has landed in Italy today ahead of his proposed move to Serie A side Atalanta. He is uh, undergoing his medical at time of recording. Uh, Godfrey, who made 15 appearances for Everton last season, has agreed to join the Europa League winners for a fee in the region of £12 million, that's including add-ons. Uh, he's got one year left, or he currently got a year left on his Everton contract. So good luck to Ben if he does go. It looks like he will do, and um, I think he'll do quite well in Italy, to be fair. And finally, PSG are apparently interested in Everton and Belgian midfield star Amadou Onana. Onana, who's currently away at the Euros with Belgium, has reported interest from Barcelona, Arsenal and Bayern Munich. But according to reports today, PSG have now identified him as the midfield talent they want. And uh, this can only be good for Everton. If Everton have decided to sell Onan and it feels like they have, and the player feels like he wants to move on as well, then it's good to have two or three clubs in the mix. It can push that price up a little bit. Uh, when Bayern were linked with him the other day, the reported fee was around 50 to 60 million uh, for the player. So if Everton got that, maybe they'd be quite happy to let him move on and reinvest that money into the squad for uh, for further enhancements of Sean Dyche's squad. Again, another one which we'll have to monitor closely. I think with him being away, though, the Euros, I do not see a deal being done 
quickly with this one, but who knows? Who knows? That is it for the News Daily. I've done a video with Mark Goldblitz regarding Jared Branthwaite. His valuation, very different to mine. Make sure you check that out. And also do me a favour, go over to the More Than The Game channel and give the Callum McManaman Inside The Game podcast a listen to. He's excellent on it. Big Evertonian as well, of course. And leave a little comment underneath. Thank you very much for watching. See you later.